All right, so I wanted to record for you the process of how the runner's high starts. It just started. A minute into my run, I'm achy from yesterday's run. It was all I could do to get out here. I really wanted to just sit in my room and just stare at the awesome view. But I drug myself out here. I'll be back in about five minutes. All right, we're at five minutes and 30 seconds. Believe it or not, this is oftentimes one of the hardest times of my run until like you get to 16 miles I'm out of breath my head hurts my, throat, my uh, heart's pounding if I didn't know what was coming I'd stop right now it's crazy alright now we're at minute we're on minute 11 my breathing is slowing down my heart rate believe it or not is slowing down I've got, still got a little headache. I think it's too much caffeine. I have a problem with caffeine. I love it. And, but it's going to go away. All right. Everything is actually falling right into place. I'm going to talk to you in about 10 minutes at about minute 20 when it really gets good. All right. I just came up on minute 20. And everything is going to plan. Got this right knee as I think it's a, an overuse thing. It, at this point in my run, there is a little concern. It's more of a curiosity. I stop maybe every five minutes or so and stretch it out. But uh, I'm starting to enter into, I'd say, the real peak of endorphins, but I'm not there yet. And so I'll tell you briefly what I know about endorphins. Now, keep in mind, I'm on a beach. I have no notes, and I'm very likely to get something wrong, so take it easy on me, but this is what I know. In the 70s, people started taking up jogging as a pastime, an American pastime, and so scientists started researching it, and it was, I think, around 75 that they came up with the term runner's high, and it has to do with endorphins, and endorphins give the same effect as morphine and from what I understand what I read on the internet endorphins means morphine from the body it's that powerful there was a study by a scientist I think her last name was Grace could be wrong about that she took two sets of rats and she fed them both for an hour a day then one set she gave them no exercise the other set, she gave them running wheels. The ones with the running wheels, some of them ended up dying of starvation because they just preferred to run. It's that powerful. It's morphine. I'm going to come back in about oh, 10 minutes or so, and I'm pretty sure all thoughts of stats and statistics will be out of my mind. All right, everybody. I think I'm making the turn. 30 minutes, thinking about an hour run. Really what I wanted to do is get to this point. I'm uh, in what you probably call the golden hour, or the golden 10 minutes. Any time between 30 minutes and 40 minutes, that's when the endorphins really start flooding in. In fact, right after the last video post here, I can feel the tension just fall out of my face. My mind is clearing, and what it's clearing of is fear, and anxiety, and anger, and worry. Right now, I'm just in an empty point in my brain. It's so awesome. I know I'm a little early on this post. It's only 36 minutes, but I just felt inspired. I had to tell you, like any good party, I gotta have a little music, put on my headphones, and here's the thing. The world abhors a vacuum. When you take away the fear, and the anxiety, and the anger, love and courage come rushing in. It's awesome! Alright, 45 minutes. I wanted to talk a second about getting high. It's something I know a little bit about, at least with alcohol. 
Used to be a hardcore drinker. Love drinking. I know this about drinking. The only goal is to get as drunk as you could possibly get. And, you know, on Wednesday for me, that's about uh, 12 beers. Friday, 18 plus beers. I like to beer. I could control a little bit better than hard liquor. That was it. There was only one end goal. The last video segment, you know, you saw me on this this peak and it was great it's great the peak subsides right about now but it doesn't go away it's filled with strength and just determination I feel like I take on the world you never get that from synthetic drugs there's multiple highs with endorphins and they're all great and no hangovers baby all right, turning over 55 minutes, coming up to the end of my run. So, just like synthetic drugs, like booze and pot and all that, runners' highs don't last that long. 30 to 60 minutes, scientists say. In fact, studies have shown that people that stop running go back to the same depression levels as people that have never run at all. So got to keep doing it but the good news is you don't have to run five minutes of walking they say will pick up your mood but you can't expect it on the first time out you might feel a little bit better but you're probably just gonna feel worse so your heart's gonna be pounding your lungs are gonna be burning just take it nice and easy you love yourself because It'll pick up, those endorphins will kick in eventually. You are gonna feel awesome. All right, 58 seconds longer to get back. I always run slower back. I don't know, lazy I guess. But there you have it, running. It's a drug for the mind, body, and spirit. Booze, pot, all those drugs, they can never say that. This is a uh, you know, little marketing message for running. Now I just have to sell it. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you had fun. That was super awesome. And I'll see you later. And I'll say awesome one more time because I feel awesome.